Zachary Lytle, Captain of Scorpios here, and we have a face-off update. Yes, every week without fail, someone goes, when is face-off happening? When is face-off happening? Why is it face-off happening? You said it was going to happen in January. Yes, because that's what I was told. And it didn't. Sorry. Um, but face-off is officially airing in two days. Two days! Um... They are, they, they did make a change. They did make a change. So let's, let's walk on over here. We're going to go over the change. So the change is, instead of eight 40-minute episodes, they're going to be doing, um, they're going to divide them in half to help with the YouTube algorithm. So on March 27th, and I'm going to have a little caption right here just in case I mess that day up. Uh, they're going to drop the first half of the Tombstone weekend. Now, you guys did already see part of this. They aired Tombstone Hypershock just a few weeks ago. And we put our recording of it in the Secrets of Hypershock episode. So, uh, you're going to get that match and two others on the 27th. And then on April 3rd, they're going to drop the second half in the conclusion. And the very first Giant Washer is going to get handed out. Now, technically, someone in my group got the first giant washer because we were group A, and they are airing these out of order. And uh, whoever in group F won their giant washer, well, you're going to find out. Everyone's going to find out on April 2nd. April 3rd. April 3rd. Listen to the subtitles. They were double-checked. They weren't winged like my presentation. So, um, and then, and then... They're finally going to do the rest of the groups in order. And my group, I've officially been told, is next. In fact, I've even seen a rough cut of the episode. And um, it was fun to relive. <laughs> that is going to be the next one. And uh, do, 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 do. this is the bad news. We don't know when that one's going to air. They are trying to hunt down sponsors for each episode. Uh, there's a very nice gaming company that's doing a new fun mech game that I'm actually trying to download on my computer right now. And uh, I'm, I'm going to put a, a little clip there. Yeah, that's that's what Will was playing instead of working on Hypershock. But, you know, he still got Hypershock together. So, anywho, uh, when they find other sponsors for the other episodes, they will air. I know that's a little disappointing. It's very exciting. We are finally getting to see some face-off. And I would like to remind everyone, this is without the aid of Discovery Channel. Uh, the builders went down for free. Uh, we did not get a stipend or anything for this round of filming. And uh, uh, BattleBots is recording all of this out of their own pocket. And uh, yeah. <laughs> So that's why there's no Chris or Kenny, but to be honest, I, I really like how the new episodes look. Uh, you get to spend more time with the builders, so you get to spend more time with me! Uh, <laughs> sorry, I know that sounds a little selfish, but, or a little conceited, maybe that's the right word. In the comment section, what is the proper negative term for that? Um, but, uh... I, I felt like it was a lot more in the trenches, like in the pits, you're sweating with the teams as they're trying to figure out, because we had to do these fights back to back to back. Uh, you had three matches in three days. And if, and, you know, we, we just saw that Hypershock Tombstone match and I had to fix that for the next day. The next day. <laughs> And my God, the turnaround in the pits was insane for all the teams and all the weeks. And uh, I think it's going to make some really good TV. I, I think these are honestly some of my favorite episodes of BattleBots because I like Chris Kinney and Farouk, but I also like to see the people, the people who build the robots. And I, I like to see the behind the scenes of how they build the robots. Hence my entire YouTube channel. Um, anyway, guys, uh, tune in this Thursday. And I, I do want to see this. I, I have seen quite a few fans online saying I'm not going to watch it because it's on YouTube. Please don't do that. Um, 
BattleBots needs views. If you ever want to see this again, if you ever want us to get back on TV, BattleBots has to prove there is still an audience that wants to see all this. So please, please, the first day it launches this Thursday, go watch the episode. Go share it with your friends. Get your friends to watch the episode. It's only if BattleBots pulls big numbers on this YouTube series are we ever going to get more BattleBots. So please <laughs> go watch it. Watch it in its entirety. Rewatch it and then get your friends to watch it. It's a favor to me and all the teams. So anyway, guys, uh, that's the news this Thursday. BattleBots face off. Uh, we're going to get to see all six of the Tombstone, the, the weekend with the three most destructive robots and the crazy new AI robot. Orbitron is going to be ridiculous. You're going to love him. Also check out the Hacksmith videos that are documenting Orbitron's journey to become the Terminator. So uh, that's everything I got this week. Oh, oh, and you will love next week. Aaron Hill designed a new type of hammer saw. And he just showed up to the NorCal knockout, and it was amazing. So come back next week for that video. All right, guys. Later. But the real trick here is that when you run the arm backwards, it does this motion. What? And picks up my own robot in order for the blade to just clear the ground and swing underneath. So it scooped the opponent, pinned a wall, and then whack the under yes. underbelly. It's kind of a uh, punting motion towards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did not design it.